WFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have uh, Dow. Dow finished down 168, NASDAQ off 137, S&P's off uh, 44. And bottom line is that uh, you did break swings, you broke them with volume, but percentage-wise, we're not down a lot, folks. You're down uh, four-tenths of one percent in the Dow, eight-tenths in the S&P, and nine-tenths in the uh, NASDAQ composite. Gold. Gold contract down $4.50, trading at seventeen fifty-two an ounce. You have silver down $0.40, cents, $22.38 an ounce, late sweet crude, off $0.62, cents. $71.99 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year down, 10 ticks, 132.25. 30-year off 25 at 162.20. Now, the 10-year rejected lower price had lighter volume. The 30-year didn't get to its lower swing point. So that's still saying that they want higher price, lower yield. We have the Fed meeting next week, okay? You can expect volatility out here. And, you know, it's news story after news story that's been going on that, yeah, the rates are going to go be going up and they're going to start tamp, uh, tapering. And guess what, folks, okay? The bottom line, if you, if you go look back, and in fact, I'm going to do it as soon as I get off the air. I think if you Google it, I'd like to see when the first stories come out with this because it seems like we've been over a year and a half right now that folks have been saying the exact same thing. And the Fed's saying something totally different, meaning that they are not going to be going up on rates for a long period of time. King Dollar. King Dollar is up 264 ticks, trading 93, 196. Let's go over and take a look at King Dollar. So what King Dollar did, I think it's closed over its swing. It did. Closed over its swing. So good. King Dollar is going to make a run for the high again. 93, 729. Oh, that's going to be heavy in the gold market. We'll see what this shakes out. I'm surprised gold's actually not down more today. You know, yesterday we had King Dollar go from 93, 92 to 93. It was almost, well, it was only 500 ticks, which is a half a penny. You're up another 263, but it looks like this high is going to be game. The game we're talking about here is the high where we failed last time at 93,749. If we go up and we take a look at the, the other side of that correlation, the euro, you can see the euro broke down. That's coming into where it took off from the bottom, though. We're at 117, and it's 116.693. That's the number to keep your eye on. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Thanks for joining us this week. Uh, come back next week. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Man is smoking this into the close. Sharpening your skills as an investor is